In this tutorial, I show you how to plan for the next phase of your base on day 7. So without further ado, let's get started. In this first week tutorial for this series, we've gone through setting up the basic necessities for our dupes. Today, we'll focus on making a few minor adjustments to the base. So we've got a slight problem here with insufficient oxygen generation, but you can see it's not really that serious. With a single generator being able to support up to 5 dupes, this issue crops up due to max gas pressure. Just to make sure, check out Frankie. You can see here that he inhales 100 grams per second. In addition, there are a lot of other fun little details here that can help in keeping your dupes healthy and happy. To further confirm the situation, we can check the oxygen overlay and see that indeed we are about as good as it gets in the starting area. It's a healthy teal color that indicates most of the areas are very breathable. Again, carbon dioxide is heavier than oxygen, so any of that amount generated falls to the bottom of the area. Very useful fact for planning out the base when it comes to facilities and food that require it. We'll let the dupes work for a bit and clear out their tasks at hand. You can see that Ruby is already hard at work at the supercomputer. Now that most of the tasks are completed, let's start expanding a bit. We'll extend out to the right and upwards to gain access to the upper left area of the map. If you've enjoyed this tutorial series, please poke the like button to let me know. And smart battery research is done. Let's see what we want to pursue next. We're going to want to gain the ability to vent and insulate, so let's unlock those capabilities next. We only need one ladder for the moment that allows access to every level thus far. Eventually, we'll want to plan for a fire pole and ultimately transit tubes as well around the ladder. Leave a comment on features that you'd like to see tutorials on in this channel. The first ventilation tech is unlocked, and we can pump gas and move it around. Let's clear out the areas that we've just gained access to and start isolating areas off for new rooms. As a general rule, you'll want to be constantly pushing out and exploring the starting area until you hit areas with higher temperatures and germs. And look, we've got our first harvest of meal lice from the new farms. It may not be the tastiest stuff, but a steady food source is important for a sustainable base. Looks like we've unlocked valves and an airlock, so we'll be on our way towards insulation tiles soon. We're missing metal ores for some of our buildings, but we'll pick up some more soon enough. Another thing to keep in mind as you build is that dupes can reach up to 4 tiles and need at least 2 tiles to access an area. You can use tiles to space out your base as shown here. We'll also extend the ladder down a bit further. And so on day 7, we've expanded the base out a bit more and created one ladder that gives access to every level of the starting area. We've also made headway on some key tech for ventilation and insulation, and we're well on our way towards uncovering more of our surroundings. This game is complex and challenging, and I hope this series helps you on your journey towards making a nice home for your dupes. That's it for now, this is Fat Beats, signing out.